Hello, everybody. We had some drama llama this morning. I think I hope everybody's okay. I think everybody's okay, but we had a we had a big drama llama. We had a very nice night uh, with uh, babies on the bed with me, and one of the babies cuddled uh, really nicely in the morning. I think it was Finn, and Elsie was nearby, and Nagita was nearby, and uh, I fed the kids, and I was just um, uh, I was about to make a journal entry, and then I was like, oh, I better call Rogers about the. Um, I got to get the international calling package, which I don't have, and uh, particularly if there was an offer. And I thought that there was a special offer for new. The guy told me I'd do it over the phone rather than at the shop. So I called, and the girl, uh, the woman, didn't know what was going on, and she was like, "Going, I have to check, and there's an add-on, eight dollars." And I said, "Right now." I would rather not pay the dollars. I'd rather, you know, I'll see if there's an offer. And in the meanwhile, I got to do. I didn't tell her all that, but I got to do the return the modem. I'm waiting for the, you know, the slip for that, so that I can do that and remove the, uh, you know, the landline. And then, then I might pay the eight dollars a month extra if, if necessary. But in the meanwhile, I'm looking to see if they have some offer or something. I thought there was one. So she's doing all of that, and I took the the kudu bag. Sorry, the Rogers bag, and and it had the um, receipt and all that in case she needed, uh, you know. Um, information, and I had it with me, it was next to me on the sofa, and I was talking to her and giving her the information, and one of the kids was sniffing around, um, one of the babies, and this suddenly, and I've had, uh, you know, years ago I had something like this happen to Loki, he was lucky afterwards, but he got his head stuck in a paper bag, and he was running around in the brown paper bag, uh, I was with my um, second ex, and she'd given me some, she was very upset because she'd given me some presents, so it was my birthday, and he got in, into one of those gift bags, and then he tra got trapped, and he was racing around the, the, the condo, not this one. Um, so this time, it was one of the, one of the babies, and I just saw this blur of orange and black running, running, running. And, I'm, and I've got the phone and I, I throw the phone down on the thing. And I said, you know, wait, wait, wait to the, to the uh, Rogers person. And I put the phone down on the thing and I'm racing around and he's racing and he's, he's going under there and he's going, making, he's going around in the bag. And I get um, the bed and I'm like panicking. And, I'm, and I just grabbed him. And this is orange and black thing. And I grabbed him here and... He got his head stuck in this, you know, and this thing was wet, but I think it was because they were going, he was going through the water bowl. So, um, but I grabbed him and I removed it and I said, you know, sweetie, sweetie, you know, it was very dangerous. His head was right in there, you know, but I removed it and then he is like, um, then he went under there. So I think he's under there right now. And I'm not sure which, which one it was. And I'm not sure. So one of them is here. Okay. Where are you? One of them is here. Now, I don't know if this is the one who had the uh, the Rogers bag incident, you know. Uh, so there's one here. I think the one with the Rogers bag, it could be this one, uh, but the one baby is hiding in a spot that he's never hi hid in before. So that could be the one who was traumatized. So, And I had to look, and I was looking all over, and I was panicked, and I couldn't find him. And he's behind there. You can see him. You see ears. You can see eyes. You know. And in the meanwhile, I'm talking on the phone to this person. So I think this is the traumatized one. You know, it looks okay. I'm going to get you out with some treats in a second, sweetie, just to make sure you're okay and that everything. You know, I. Yeah, it was a couple of laps with that thing. So, but it, you know, I was hitting his head, and you know, and it was that that thing was like strangling. Well, it was not strangling, but it was like around his neck. You know, there was some space there, but. But still, he's okay. And I grabbed him, and I removed the thing. I mean, like, after one round or two rounds, it was just a big panic. So I don't, it must be this one, unless it's the other one who was, uh, who was uh, traumatized, and then this one got traumatized, you know, <laughs> because of what was happening to the brother. has gone in a place to hide. It was never hidden in before. So I think this one is LC. I think that one is Finn, but I'm not sure. And then, with all of this going on, Agita got scared too and she went to look in the bedroom like what's happening what happens what's happening with my brother and you know and now she's hiding she's under there so everybody's in hiding spots i i, I think i should you know after all that trauma i think i need to hide too i might i might have to go under a bed you know so I, i'm not gonna fit here but i'm gonna i'm gonna get treats and see just make sure that everything is okay all all, all functions seem to be working it seems to be okay he's standing up and he's looking up there and you know just traumatized because i was very, it was very traumatic for all of us, you know. I wouldn't even be surprised if this is the one uh, that were, that had the incident. That one is just, you know, sympathetic trauma, because that's kind of what I mean too. I'm, I'm kind of shocked. And then 
Uh, 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 the, 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 the woman on the Rogers took like literally 45 minutes. And I'm like, it takes you that long to see if there's a special offer? And then in the end she goes, oh, I, I put on the add-on for you, $8 a month. And I said, I didn't want it. That's not what I was calling about. I was calling about an offer, you know? There was supposed to be some thousand minutes or something for new customers, and there's a very simple question. Do we, do we, do you have it or do you not have it? And at this point, I don't want to pay the $8. I, you know, I'll wait until I get the money back from the uh, modem and from, from, from the landline, you know? Uh, uh, um, and in the meanwhile, if something else, if an offer comes up, fine. You know, I'm already paying quite a bit more than I was at, uh, at uh, you know, at Kudu, you know? Uh, but then, uh, it's a slightly better phone, and I may be saving on the uh, landline. If I can get that money back, that $50 a month, then it's okay. Then I don't mind paying more for this other stuff, you know? So, But but I'm going to wait on that. I don't want it right now. So, so she had put the $8 out on. She said, oh, I was putting it on for you. And I said, I don't want it. I said, I, I just, it was a simple question. So, so far, I'm not very happy with that. That one, I had to push the thing. I, I'll push it back. Everything's in there, but... It kind of slides, so I had to pull the thing away. All my parents collect all stuff and uh, and um, grab the baby that was there, and everything seems to be fine. Everybody was just, you know, they were thrown off by including myself by that whole thing. So I got them in here now, so they're both under the bed together. So that's better. But uh, they seem to be fine. Just you know, a little bit of drama, lama trauma, <sighs> for me too. So I'm to keep that still under there. I gotta push this thing back. This is like drama lava. In the end, I didn't even get the um, the thing for the phone. Anyway, bye for now. More drama. I was trying to push that thing back. I forgot about the dolls up there. I completely forgot. And that doll fell and broke. It's like a porcelain head. So there's like doll pieces. Now, I'm not too worried about the dolls. My uh, my parents' collection. Oh, the hand's broken. The head's broken. It's like something out of a horror movie. But um, I'm not too worried about the doll. Uh, one of my, uh, a former friend of mine uh, who'd seen them said, uh, you know, she, she thought they were like evil. <laughs> they were like something in you know, a horror movie like uh, Chucky or something like that. And she was like going as soon as they go you should you should uh, put them all away or throw them away or have them you know exercise to do something she doesn't do that kind of thing so i was like oh, you, go, you know a bit flaky so i'm like going no i don't i don't find them evil or anything but you know still i'm not i'm not particularly attached to them so that one that one that one kind of got broke but it's okay as long as the doll's broken and the kids are fine i'm fine hit her and i'm fine everything's good i gotta pick up all the little pieces of porcelain throw that this throw the the doll carcass out and push this thing back. I gotta lie those things down so they don't fall again. Oh, what a nuisance. Anyway, uh, <laughs> both the babies are safe in that room. Agita is very wisely hiding under the bed. It's a little later and I'm discovering there's a little bit of blood on the, on the carpet from, from that injury of whoever got injured, you know? Now, one of the kids has come out. A little bit of blood there. Are you the one who's bleeding? Where from, sweetie? Did you hit something when you were running around, or was it the other one? Now I found a broken nail in the um, in the water, so you know all the running and bumping and you know and the splashing and the you know and a nail fell in that water, so I threw out the water and put fresh. I'm wondering if that I'm hoping that's the source of the, uh, the you know the broken nail. There could have been blood, and the, the poor guy was running. Whoever it was, this one or that one, uh, I don't know if it was you all. Are you okay? Um, I don't see. Let me just check, sweetie. Is everything okay? Love you three so much, you know. More than anything in the universe. You know that. Did you hit your head? Did you hit a little... Look. Look at that. I think he hit his head. It was Because he was bummed. He was had his... Uh, this is this one. It must have been this one who was injured. Because he was going... Now. I, I hope there's no, like damage or something. I don't see any blood coming out of the head. It was like, just, it was in that, his head, his head was in that thing, and it was like, a, oh, oh, daddy's having a panic attack, a panic attack, just thinking about this. Where's all this blood coming from, sweeties? Daddy's worried. Look, 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 it's not good. I saw a hole in his head. Yeah. I, I didn't see any blood coming out. It was like, hair, you, because it was just, he went two rounds with that thing, and I was trying to grab him, and he was hitting the, um, uh, the underneath of the bed, and, you know, I don't know what, uh, I'm getting a bit worried now. I am getting a bit worried now. Unbelievably, Agita has come into this room, and she's meowing, and she's upset. 
she's upset over one of her brothers. I hope this is very strange. Yes, sweetie, I hope your brothers are okay, one of them. You know, I gotta hit his head. This blood is not good, sweetie. Are you worried too? Are you worried? You wor don't, 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 don't attack your father. <laughs> oh, she, she's worried. She's like, maybe I can finish him off, you know? Oh, my poor babies. I love them so much. What happened? I thought it was a freaking you know, Rogers. The whole phone thing is just a nightmare, nightmare, nightmare. And then the, the oh, the, and I'm always careful with those bad things with the handles. And, and I was right there. It was just sniffing it. And I, was like, I, was, I was talking on the phone. And I was trying to give the information. And, and the poor guy got his head stuck. And he was like, got in the handle. And he was like, oh, it was a nightmare. And uh, they seemed to be okay. I don't see any big piles of blood. I see some blood, but I don't see any big puddles. And I saw a little hole in his head, you know. But I think that was just the hair that got caught because he was going underneath the thing. I'm a bit worried now. I'm just going to lie here for a bit. Maybe he'll come back out. I don't know. He was sitting here. He seemed okay. I don't think I need to take it to an emergency. I see a little bit of blood there, too. Are you the one with the hole in the head? Are you okay? Is everybody okay? Is there blood? A little bit of blood. I don't know, sweethearts. You're scaring me. I, Daddy gets, Daddy catastrophizes. Daddy was telling a friend of his that she catastrophizes. I catastrophize, too. It's got cat in it, so, you know, cat people, I guess they do it. Now, he just said, and I'm, not, I'm all worried now. Are you okay, sweetie? Are you, you're moving. You're walking. All the, the functions seem to be working. The paws and the tail and the ears. And I don't see any big puddles of blood or anything. So I think it's okay. Oh, I'm like, you know, I'm just I'm like, you know, I'm going to have a heart attack myself. Oh, I panic. You know, my poor babies. I don't, oh, oh, it's a nightmare. And seeing the blood, that is not helping. Okay, this is later, and I'm pretty sure it's this one. It's Finn that was uh, in the uh, in the in the bag accident, and he seems okay. There's a little bit of blood there. I think it's his back paw. I think the um, he damaged his um, his uh, nail. Just the nail came out within the water bottle, water water uh, you know bowl. He seems okay now. Agita seems to be, she's saying something to him. I don't know if she's worried or she realizes that she, she's sick so she can dominate him. I don't know what's going on here. I think she's more, well, let's be, let's, let's take the more, you know, positive thing. And I think she's just worried about her brother. You know, we're all worried about you, sweetie. He seems okay. And then I found some vomit over there under the table. I tried a new uh, a pouch of Merrick. And the, the vomiter in our family is, um, is Agita. So, but you know, um, I don't know, maybe one of the others did. I found it under, it was fresh. All of that, whoever ate that, uh, you know, um, threw up all of the Merrick. The other one was okay, but the, the usually a geezer who throws up. So I don't know, maybe all the trauma, all the trauma that's been happening and everything, you know, maybe a geezer threw up, maybe this one. This one looks okay. He's, he's sitting here and very nicely, his brother, his sister came to say something. And she was kind of semi, she was like, I think, I'm hoping she's just a little worried about him because, you know, she actually came and talked to him. Well, sort of. <laughs> it was more like a growl hiss, but that's just how she talks to her brothers. So we have, we've had all this going on. In the meanwhile, I'm just sending an email, a, a text to my friend about this, you know, because I, I'm, I'm a bit worried now. He seems okay. And there's not a, and there's a little bit of blood. Now, what, what is going on here, Sir What's going on? Why, why, your brother is, I don't know. Your brother was traumatized. You don't need to traumatize him further. Or are you trying to, are you trying to, you know, are you trying to help him? You, you want to talk to your brother? You want to say everything's okay, Finn? She's actually going near him. That's quite amazing. And, you know, I think, are you okay? Are you okay? It's your brother. Your brother's fine. I don't know. I'm worried. You didn't damage anything, did you, sweetheart? Are you okay? Did you see the damage? It's just, it looks okay. It's, you know, his eyes and everything are fine. It's like a little cognitive function. Is there a little sort of missing tuft of hair on the top of your head? Am I seeing that? Is that what is that? I'm catastrophizing. This it happens, you know? Okay, one of the babies there. One of the babies there. I think this is Finn. And the other baby's there. I think this is Elsie. Under the bed. Well, after all the drama yesterday, uh, trauma and drama, 
Uh, by evening, everybody was still a little bit shaken up, but we were getting back into our routines. And uh, Finn seems to be fine. I've been watching him. He seems to be okay. He was licking his back paw. Um, but he seems to be okay. And just, you know, and, uh, Agitha was, Agitha talked to him. She went up to him. He was sitting there. And she never goes up to her brothers. She went up to there and she growled at him. I think she was sick on you, idiot. Your query is such a fuss. This is what happens when you play around and you try to play with things and you get stuck in a, a paper bag and then you got hurt and then everybody else got to, you know, uh, you know, got worried. Your dad got worried. Everybody got worried. Even I got to be worried. Well, I don't know if she would do that part. But she was like, she, she, she would she talk to him. She would have told him off, I think. I think. I'm projecting. Maybe it's little... So anyway, look, I got to go. I got to go to the dentist. I had a long talk to my father with my father this morning because I got the, the long distance plan. Temporarily, that's another the whole drama llama phone thing, as my friend says. So I gotta go. Uh, I gotta go to the, I talk to my father and get one of the babies there. I think the selfie. And there, we got Finn there. So I'm gonna. I'll take more at the at the dentist after this. Here I am at the uh, dentist office. The appointment was for eleven. I got here, I just checked the time, it was 11.11, 11. and uh, there's always traffic, you know. But anyway, I, I got here like 7 after, and then uh, sat in the waiting room, and, and, as, and I told the, um, the receptionist, I said, look, uh, you know, I, I even called at 11, but it was five minutes away, and she goes, no worries. And then um, uh, when I got here, I said, look, I come from the other side of town, and she says, oh, we accept your, uh, your, uh, your excuse. And I said, if you didn't accept it, I would go to a dentist much closer to me. <laughs> okay, the doctor came and did the uh, freezing injections because I was drooling. I told her after that, I was like, oh, look at that. Hello everybody, I'm sitting in the car. About 10 minutes, I uh, came out of the um, uh, dentist's office. The cleaning was uh, rougher than usual. Uh, the uh, dentist and uh, my dentist's uh, sister, and uh, she's also a dentist, back <laughs> the operation. But uh, she came and she gave the um, the freezing injections. Uh, same as last time, but I really, really felt, uh, you know, the scraping. The dental hygienist is very good. Excellent, excellent hygienist. But uh, it uh, really, really, really felt it, you know, uh, you know and... Uh, I'm quite open with her, I'm quite honest, uh, you know, as you guys know, I don't really hold, I hold back some of the details, but I don't hold back about the struggles with the addiction and stuff, though. I have talked about uh, struggles with, with substances, and uh, I, I wondered afterwards, I go, do you think it could be, you know, that last binge, you know, uh, or the binges, you know, since our last cleaning, that I uh, got more tolerance now to, you know, to the anesthetic when the, when the dentist gives it, and, and she thought it's possible. She said, you know, next time you might need more, <laughs> more, uh, you know, uh, local anesthetic, uh, uh, freezing, may need more freezing, and I'm like, going, try not to have any more pinches. Use this as a push, another push. A push is that, you know, when you have binges afterwards, the dental things are even worse than usual. Hello everybody, I'm here at the Richmond Hill PetSmart and I got some more, just some treats and a, and a toy. I think it's a Disney toy. Ursula, I don't know the character from. But anyway, I um, uh, wanted a Puss in Boots uh, toy. But anyway, I don't have it. So. Um, but anyway, uh, I got that and then I brushed my teeth. I got the, um, you know, the little toothpaste, uh, free toothpaste and uh, a toothbrush uh, kit from the dentist. So I just brushed my teeth here beside the car <laughs> I train using my water. Hello everybody, I'm here at Host in Richmond Hill. I actually wanted to go to the place for chicken souvlaki and uh, they have burgers but I was going for the chicken souvlaki that my friend recommends and I tried once. It was closed for holidays until end of uh, August. So then I instead of so after PetSmart, I went there, it's closed. So then I've come here, the only other place I know in all of Richmond Hill is Host. Indian buffet, and I came here uh, uh, just about a year ago with my friend. It was her birthday in September or so, birthday week. So we came here and we were talking, and you know, I haven't been since. So I'm, you know, uh, so I'm getting uh, salad to eat stuff for us. I think these are all like vegetarian cutlets. I think that one is a spinach cutlet of some kind, and then that's a potato one cutlet, and then this is fish. So I eat fish, and we got those little rice cookies, crispy thingies, and. Um, they call it bell puri or something. And um, the chicken, not chicken, just corn soup. And I put some jalapenos. They didn't have green peppers. Green, they didn't have green chilies, but they had jalapenos. And I can put some of that chutney into there. So uh, let me taste it. 
Uh, this is my main course, uh, more fish and there's um, paneer or something and a little bit of chicken, not a lot. And that's the jackfruit curry and um, uh, vegetables and uh, naan and a little bit of rice. They've run out of rice. I don't, you know, there's supposed to be another half an hour, but they don't seem to be topping it up. And there was one last little I left, total. I don't know if they have more, if they're going to bring more, if that's it. So I just grabbed it. So at least I get one rest of my life. I just came back. It took a long time because um, after the, um, uh, the Indian buffet brunch, I uh, stopped. I came the long way. I stepped into the bookstore uh, uh, chapters in, uh, in Vaughan, which is sort of on the way. But I came the back roads and then I got really, really bad traffic. I got stuck. Uh, you know, and then um, ended up on Islington and there was a... Uh, Asian variety store, uh, Asian uh, sorry, grocery store that I go to that has Indian spices and things too. So I get some, uh, you know, um, uh, they have uh, regular vegetables like corn, and then they have like that uh, garlic uh, ginger stuff and uh, prawn chips and uh, um, red uh, chili powder stuff like that. And then those are the books I get, and then I get some uh, some uh, uh, from earlier, the cat toy and uh, cat food. Did all of that. It was about six o'clock by the time I get home, and I come home, and Gita is running around, but they're still every the other the other two are still a little you know I don't know from yesterday what's happening they're still a little freaked out. Uh, the um, uh, Finn seems okay. I was exchanging uh, texts with my local uh, cat person friend about him, and he seems to be okay. But you know this is very unusual. I've come home. He's usually there. The the babies are the ones who usually come to the door. And Agita just remains wherever she is. He's remaining, and he doesn't usually sit under the chair. He usually sits over the chair. Now, I might be reading too much into all of this, but, you know, before yesterday, they would never... So, so that whole trauma has kind of shifted our whole family thing. Everybody's, you know, doing kind of, you know, unusual things. But he looks fine. He's not bleeding or anything. His paws look fine. He's not limping. Uh, he slept on the bed with me, so that's uh, Finn. Now, what's happening with... Um, uh, Lelsie, I'm not sure, because um, Elsie would have been out here, you know, in the, in the in the cat tent or on the, you know, by the sofa. Now I come home and he's under the bed. Now this is very unusual. I mean, you know, there he is. I mean, he would sometimes go under the bed, but you know, not right when I came home. You know, I've been gone all day. So I don't know, everybody's still a bit... Yesterday, that whole thing with the, you know, with Elsie hiding behind there and, and Finn having that whole thing running around and the trauma and... Oh, such drama llama. And good morning, everybody. We've got... Uh, well, it's about noon, but morning for us. And we've got... Uh, even though we've been up quite some time now, but we've got uh, Agitha there and we've got one of the babies settling nicely there. And I'm pretty sure that this is Finn, you know? Camouflage is on his bed, but he's settling there. And the other baby, you know, Elsie, uh, for some reason, seems to like going into the bed these days. You know, so I think he's... Think, there, can you see him? See a tail? See a tail? That's Elsie. <laughs> Elsie, Elsie, there he is. <laughs> so, you know, um, I think, you know, that whole trauma thing, it was like two days ago. But he's still kind of traumatized. It was like, you know, but... Uh, anyway, uh, we had a good night last night. I just stayed home, relaxed with the kids, did some very light reading, and fed the kids and had, uh, you know, just some, you know, chips and snacks myself. And um, in the morning, we had a little excitement because they came to ch to test the uh, fire alarms. So I got the, the babies were in their room. I think that was behind the ego chair. She didn't even come. But the babies were in their room. They went under the bed. And a guy comes in, high-tech device. I told her, I joked with him, it's a high-tech device. Just takes a hair dryer, uh, taped to a stick, and turns it on, plugs it in, turns it on, and blows the hot air towards the uh, fire alarms up there. There's just two in the hall. And, and then they start beeping you know, when the hot air. So, the, so they're working, I guess. So, uh, but I'm here at um, a sushi place. Uh, I was with the kids in the morning, um, you know, lots of family time. A little bit of pool started up. I don't know. Yesterday there was a dentist and then eating out. And then I think it's just time. And then I talked to the dentist, um, to the uh, dental hygienist. She knows a little bit about the, the struggle. So that came up. And they're wondering if the substance had affected the, uh, you know, tolerance to the uh, freezing and all of that stuff 
so I don't know, maybe just talking about it and all of that stuff. And then, you know, but uh, um, I got a very nice email from my out of province friend last night and again this morning and exchanged friends, uh, emails with friends yesterday. And we're over two weeks and uh, there's going to be a little bit of pull, obviously. <laughs> not going to completely disappear, no matter how bad the last binge was. It's going to be there a little bit. So, But uh, as, as my friend said, the, the kids are bringing their A game, even though poor Finn had the kind of trauma a couple of days ago, but everybody started to recover from it. And um, I, I wanted to go to a new uh, ta- um, Vietnamese place further down on, um, on Queensway. It's where a breakfast restaurant I used to go to a lot uh, used to be. It's kind of, I think it's a higher end uh, sort of, you know, it's not just four. It's like a, you know, they've, got like a, uh, they've redone the place inside and tablecloths and the kind of fancy. And I think the, um, they only have the evening menu, no lunch. And I go, if, I, if I'm going to pay the, if I'm going to have the evening menu, why don't I just go on in an evening? And, uh, so the guy took the menu back from here. I was just looking at it at the front. And I said, okay, I'll come here. Give me sushi, you know. Uh, all kinds of sushi, yeah, you know, and uh, appetizers, good food. They have a lunch, a lunch uh, menu. Anyway, bye for now. Everybody, one of the babies there, Gita there, and the other baby here. I'm doing laundry sheets and uh, eider downs and all of that stuff. But the dynamic seems to have changed with the babies and the Gita over the last couple of days, ever since that whole traumatic thing. I don't know why. You know, I was joking about Agita going and telling her brother off, but there seems to be some, some kind of, you know, she, he was sitting very nicely under that. A chair, not on it, but under it, and she went and she started hitting at him and hissing at him like she used to do before, before they were all getting along, you know? And then, you know, I had to tell her to leave the brother alone. I said, he's just sitting there, he's not even on the chair, he's under the chair, why are you bugging him, you know? And then, uh, you know, this one, Elsie has been spending a lot of time under the bed. When I came back from the outing, both of the babies were under this bed, you know? And Agita was on the blankets there, so, and now Agita's in here, and yeah, he's okay. He's he's kind of facing that way, and he's like, you know, the the babies are her they are her size now, but you know they don't <laughs> they do they do you know they chase her sometimes too, but I'm not really sure why Agita is being grumpy cat now. You know, hello everybody. It's later in the day. I've been doing some laundry, put on the clean sheets, and look who's reading. Look who are on the bed with me as I'm reading. You know. <laughs> Oh, the babies very nicely on the clean cheeks, you know. And I'm just washing the, I'm just drying the outer down to put on. And I'm just reading a very, very light book. So, um, all is well. And um, I'll feed the kids, have something like myself, and tomorrow, day trip. Bye for now. Hello, everybody. It's now the next morning, and uh, I fed the kids and uh, packed my backpack for the day trip. I get the settled there. One of the babies is there. And the other baby is there, you know. So, uh, I'm just going to, you know, get changed and head out on the day trip to um, cut the grass, meet my contractor, and the guy's coming to give the estimate for the railing upstairs. Well, hello everybody, here I am at the house. I got here, well, before three, because the railing guy was supposed to go. I made the appointment last week. And uh, I considered calling to remind him. But then I said it was like a week, and I said 3 o'clock Thursday, and he noted it down, and, and I didn't want to, like, you know, call and have him go, yeah, yeah, I remember, what kind of business person do you think I am? Of course I am. So I said, you know, you'll remember, you yeah. know. He forgot. <laughs> so I can't hear my contractors here also. And um, 3 o'clock comes, and, and my contractor goes, you better call him. I think he forgot. I said, give him 10 more minutes. Maybe he's just late, you know. 3.15, I call, and, and his brother is there. And his, his brother goes, oh, you didn't talk to me. You must have talked to my brother. And I said, you know, this is the address, and you're supposed to come give a, a thing, uh, you know, just to, just to remind, and I'm here, and this is the address again in case, in case uh, you know, he uh, uh, misplaced it or something. And I gave my phone number, and not at the word. So my contractor says if he calls tomorrow, I'll make an appointment for next week. But, I, you know, this is a little... Un- I've already had a very unreliable contractor. <laughs> you have to need an unreliable wheeling guy who forgets people. Now, maybe a week was too long. I should have I should have maybe called yesterday. I thought about it. But then I got, you know, I didn't want to, like, insult them or something. I should have, I should have called. But anyway, never mind. You know, it's, it's done. If he calls tomorrow and he apologizes and he says next week and I go, I'm coming on Thursday, Friday, whatever, then 
Now, there has been progress, but oh, my contractor, you know, he's working at, working at the speed of a snail. And this is like, you know, for, for him, this is the speed of light, but it's still very slow. I mean, he cut this piece last week in front of me, I'm sorry. And it's still, it's not actually installed, but it's sitting there, you know, it's the right size. So that's one thing done. And I don't think that there was, maybe another piece of trim has been cut here. But that, I think that was pretty much done last week, you know. Um, I don't see anything else here with the tile trim. So as far as I can tell, in one full week, the work has been, he did that plumbing thing and he was working on it today. I think most of it was actually done today and maybe one or two other days. He has put the sink in, you know, he had removed the sink. Um, but you know, that's, uh, you know, he, he, he does some plumbing work, so he's done those and he was cutting them and he was putting them. So that's, you know, I mean, a plumber would have charged a lot of money for that, but you know, this, this is like a week's work basically, you know, which is, I mean, it's okay. It's, it's, it's something. It is something, you know, it's like, you know, but it's still slow. And then the uh, railing guy, what's, what's with you railing guy? Why didn't, you know, I don't know, you know. All that stuff. I'm going to, it looks like we're going to have to go back to plan B and, you know, I have to let him do these little things and then I have to call a plumber. I mean, hello everybody, I'm here at the garage for once. I'm not actually switching cars, you know, not even starting them. I just stopped to make sure that they're all here. They all seem to be here, so everything's fine, you know. For once, I'm not actually checking, uh, doing anything with the car, so. Now. After I left the house, uh, cut the grass, I left the house, I stopped on the way, a neighbor sort of on the next, well, maybe two or three miles away, but I know him because uh, he uh, has a service where he cuts the grass next door. I don't use the service because it would cost the same as it cost me in gas, and that way I come and I cut the grass and I um, also have a drive and I start the cars and I do all that. But uh, I've talked to him a few, he's a car person, he's got a couple of Cadillacs and you know, so uh, stopped, I saw him out on his driveway, so I stopped and ended up talking to him for like an hour. Sort of a neighbor, I guess, three miles away, but sort of a neighbor, so one of the few people I know in the area, so I had a nice little chat with him and, and then um, came back here, just quickly, quickly checked the cars and then uh, got to head back to the kids. Bye for now. Hello everybody, I'm on my way back uh, a little bit later because they stopped and socialized with my sort of neighbor, kind of distant neighbor, but uh, and then I talked to the neighbor at, you know, it was a very social day for the uh, Andy professor, I talked to my neighbor at the uh, garage, at the storage garage, you know, because I'm having one of my cars uh, uh, hopefully towed there, the one on the, on the driveway. And uh, I don't have an address there. That was a problem last time. So I said, can I give your address? And he said, I don't care. He said, well, you can get your own address if you want. And you have to go to, you know, this and then I don't care. I don't get an email there. I don't live there. It's the only time I've ever needed an address there was when I needed to have a car towed. And see, I couldn't find the address. So they wouldn't tow it there. <laughs> um, but I only use it for storage. And then I said to see uh, storage and they said, oh, we don't tow to storage. We tow to residential address or to auto shop. And I go like, okay. So I just had it towed to my residential address. And just got back. It was thunderstorm, rain, most of the way back, lightning, thunder, all that stuff. And, but I, you know, the city drove fine. And I got home and the finally, as of today, when I left, it was still concrete floor. But now they've got the carpeting. So this, the, the art floor is completely done. You think it's going to take another like, month, two months before it gets all the way down to the ground. They're doing like one floor at a time. But um, everything done. New ceiling, uh, new, new uh, wallpaper. They removed the old wallpaper. New lights um, and uh, new carpet. And this uh, marble is new. Before it was just carpet right up to the edge. And they put all the trim and everything back. They just came in the door and look! One baby there! And... I get that there, and I saw the other baby here, there, you uh, know. At least both babies weren't under the bed, like yesterday when I went out. So, uh, and this one's sitting there nicely, and uh, I get that there, so uh, everybody seems to be getting along again. Oh, hi. Good morning, everybody. Actually, it's like three o'clock, so <laughs> but it's early for me, I guess. I got up early, but I've just been, you know... Just been spending time with the kids and just kind of vegging here, decompressing after yesterday. So we've got Agita there, 
we got one of the babies settled relatively nearby, and she doesn't seem to mind. So um, she looked at him. She's like, I, you had to sit here, you know, till the other section of the sofa, but, but she's okay with it. So, and then the other baby's there, you know, in the uh, playpen with the flap open, of course. Now, the news is that yesterday I did tip a bit on the trip, and I did get a thunderstorm on the way back, and I did socialize a bit, and you know, with this. And one of the people I talked to is a car guy, and you know, the, the thing about, I mean, bona fide car guys is that they're like obsessed with their cars because like an addiction. So he's like going, yeah, you should sell this house and buy one with a bit better garage and a, and a workshop. And that's what he does. He hangs out in his, when he's, when he's not in the main house with his wife, he kind of hangs out in the workshop garage area. And I was driving by, and it's a couple of miles up from my, uh, from my place, so it was a, kind of my way to the uh, to my own garage, and um, I saw him. I said, he's sitting in his garage. You know, the door is open. He's sitting in his garage, just smoking, and he's got he's got a couple of he's got a couple of uh, nice cars, an older one and a newer one, and a couple of trucks. And and I've talked to him a couple of times. You know, uh, so he, he has a business that you know um, does some work at the house next to mine. So I um, I, I pulled in and just you know so. Saw a car that I hadn't seen before, and I was in the 430, which he hadn't seen. So I talked to him for a while, and, and he's like, oh, you should sell the house, and there's one down the road here, which is a five-car garage, and it's got a workshop, and you can hang out in the workshop. And I go, I don't want to hang out in the workshop. I don't. And, I, and he goes, oh, you're, you're, my 430 wasn't super clean. I, you know, there was some grease in the lower part, and I didn't clean the wheels properly. I haven't been doing the alloys. And I do wash it regularly. My, my friend comments on that, but... But not to the degree of the car obsessed people, you know. I mean, I have the car as a kind of a thing that started with my parent, with my father, and uh, I bought a couple more. I bought the uh, S class, and you know, it's a, it's probably a, a safer hobby than other hobbies, and you know, and I can afford it. So you know, I don't buy expensive cars, so, you know. I, I buy older ones, and you know, I don't maintain them to the level that those people do. And he's like, oh, you know, your wheels are dirty, and you should buy the house, and it's got the workshop, and you can hang out in the workshop. And I go, I'd rather, I'd rather go party than hang out in the workshop. And that other house that he's recommending is again very isolated. He he didn't get that, you know, the priority this time is not the cars for me. It's more, you know, sort of having a sense of neighborhood, which you don't get. In those not in the same not not like going for a walk on a sidewalk and uh, you know just kind of waving to neighbors and sitting on the front porch but not that kind of neighborhood which which I did have back in Niagara so I'm kind of looking more for that and I'm the priority is more for the kids I want a house that is uh, kid friendly cat kid friendly with you know lots of big windows for bird watching and we can all sit out in the front porch and watch the people walking by and the cats and the dogs and the cars and all that but enclosed Completely enclosed, a catio. They call it a catio, a cat patio. So I want a, I want a catio, and I want a, you know big windows, and a, you know I'd like to have like a single car garage, so one car can go there, and the the rest is stored out in the country. And he's like going, oh, you could sell that other garage, and I go, why would I want to? I wouldn't get much for it, and I go, the system kind of works for me. So basically, I think he's got his addiction, and he can't kind of you know. He's like going, oh, if you're a car person and you've got so many cars, you've got to want to have a house with the workshop. And, and uh, you know, and with the, I, don't, I don't work on my cars. I wash them with a coin up, you know, once a week, twice a week. But, you know, I, I dry them quickly, but I don't, I don't detail them, you know. So it's kind of a, yeah, I did belong to a car club. I, sing, I wrote an email to my friend. I did belong to a car club when I first moved out there, the house before this one. But the people there, they're nice people, but they're very, I mean, you know, they live for their cars. And that's not me. <laughs> that's just not me. Hello, everybody. I'm here at Island Foods in um, uh, Parkdale. And I got a shrimp roti. I was going to go have a separate brunch uh, at a place on Queen Street and then, uh, like, you know, ex quarantine, And then come here and get a takeout uh, spinach or shrimp roti for the evening. But then I said, if I'm coming here and I really like this food, I might as well get my spinach and my, um, uh, so this is my spinach one. And I asked him to pack it up, but I'm going to take a bit of it now and mix it, sort of mix it in this. And then whatever's left of the two, I'll put them back in the bag and uh, that'll be my evening, you know? So as for extra hot sauce, 
you've ever put enough. <laughs> they never put enough. It's not hot sauce. And you can buy it, you know? They actually bottle it, but they're out of the hot sauce right now. They only have the uh, tamarind, which is no good for me. So, yesterday I did uh, 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 tapes of footage. I'm not sure how much YouTube we're going to use. But I did have polls yesterday, particularly in the morning. They were very strong because of all of the socialization the day before and the annoying guy out in the country. And it's like going, you know, he's, he's kind of with a more car addiction and he's like, oh, you got my house with the garages and you got to do this and you got to do that. And, and I'm like, oh, yeah, the, yeah, the cars are not my priority anymore. But you know, staying clear is my priority. My kids, obviously, my priority. But look, I, you know, if a car happens to have, if a house happens to have a three four car garage, I'd consider it, but it's not a priority, you know? It is, I, I'm looking for a place, and I, and he's like, oh, you don't want to live in the town, you want to live in the country, you want to have the chorus, and I'm looking, I want to live in the town for a change, I want people around me, even if I don't talk to them, I want people sort of around me, it's too isolated, around. and then he's like, but these kids are people, they get, you know, and, they, and so I'm just like, going, no, no, not that I'm stereotyping all country people, but anyway, that, that kind of, uh, and then I talked to the other guy, the alcoholic guy, and then all of that stuff, and then it was like, thunderstorm so yesterday the polls were pretty strong in the morning but it's okay I made it I, um, I emailed friends and uh, texted friends and I uh, spent time with the kids and I just stayed in all day all evening and I had frozen uh, frozen food and uh, corn on the cob and I fed the kids you know and um, did some reading watched some streaming um, made it now today uh, emails text with friends and I came out. I haven't been. I didn't go out at all yesterday. Uh, the polls are better. Yesterday I wrote it out, and then I, I did. I wrote journal entries. I wrote emails and texts, which uh, which is a form of writing. And I got all the, the thoughts and the you know what, how that guy pissed me off. I wrote all of that down, you know. So that was, and I kind of pasted some of that into my journals. So yeah. You know, so the writing helped. The time with the kids at home helped, and polls are lower today. So I came out. And I'm having, uh, there's the um, spinach roti. And the mini is parked out there. I'm just keeping an eye on it. I'm not sure if it was parked there. Other people have. So I finish this, do the rest of the shopping, back to the kids. And uh, that one, whatever I don't need of that, I'll mix it in with the spinach one. And that's my supper. Bye for now. Everybody just got back a couple of minutes ago. And Agita was sitting there. The blankets, she saw me and she got up and she moved there to the eco chair. And we got one of the babies is there. And we've got the other baby there. You know? Now, uh, I did do some shopping um, after the uh, roti place. Uh, you went and got uh, pet value, uh, pet smart. Uh, got a couple of those pouch thingies, and then uh, pet value on the way back. I got Varuva, so hopefully. Uh, Fussy Elsie will, will like it. <laughs> I have to really coax him these days for practically eat it myself to show him and then he'll eat it and then give him treats and bribe him. So I'm hoping he's going to like the... Uh, he used to like the Varuva, but you never know. Uh, you know he used to like the um, uh, the Tika Cat, but you know he's, now he has to be coaxed into it. So then I stopped at uh, Drug Mart and I got uh, you know, cola and cheese and stuff like that. And, you know, the, uh, and the chips, you know... Uh, my own uh, dinner, you know. Well, I got. I actually got this. This is a leftover roti. They can have some uh, chips with it. And they get. Uh, I'm having my ice cream on this bench, just closer to the uh, building, because uh, there's humans on the the professor's usual bench. Uh, they seem very nicely settled. So I don't want to be going anywhere. So I got up. There's a dog shitting. I try not to go that way. But anyway, so I'm gonna have my ice cream and then I might walk a little bit that way and then um, maybe and uh, back up to the kids. Just got back in a couple of minutes ago. Haven't taken off my jacket yet, and uh, everyone's pretty much settled where they were when I left. So we got one baby there who's thinking about getting up, and we've got Agita there, same spot she was when I left, and this one is just just uh, readjusting position. Facing this way, you know? so facing the way his sister is facing, and the other baby, and I think this is Elsie, is there. You know? and he's readjusting too under the uh, under the under the chair, you know. So you know, um, had a, had a, you know, just a little bit of fresh air, had an ice cream, and uh, watched the humans and the lake and the stuff, and came back. Hello, everybody. Um, had a good night and morning with the kids, and I'm just uh, getting ready to go out for a buffet brunch. So uh, there's one of the babies there, one of the babies there, he's there.
had a little bit of pull this morning, but you know, just a little bit. It's okay. And I booked the, um, or, you know, I might get traffic, but I booked the buffet brunch, which is quite nice. I had to call, so I was a little bit late because of traffic, and it's really hard finding, finding parking here. It's a sort of a tight spot. I didn't want to hit the motorcycle, and then there's a car there, but I got it in with a little back and forth. Uh, so anyway, and I had to buy a token. So now we're gonna, I remember five minutes late, but it's okay, I called. Bye for now. Hello everybody, I'm here at the buffet. Uh, I'm sitting outside, it's a very nice patio. And there's two sections here. This is the salad, this is the desserts, and that's uh, these are like uh, a lot of bacon and ham, ham and stuff, but there's also some vegetarian options and there's uh, scrambled eggs and stuff like that. So uh, I've, got, I've got my uh, appetizers, my salad and my, a bit of scrambled eggs. Hello everybody, here I am, you know. Uh, I don't think I can eat any chicken because there's uh, pigeons. Are, are they related to chickens? <laughs> Sort of. <laughs> well, I, I don't know. There's so much stuff that I might not even need chicken. There's all kinds of salmon. So this is like a, this is like a poached salmon and eggs and all kinds of salady stuff and artichokes and cheese and uh, croissant. Sitting outside, very very nice patio. Uh, perfect temperature uh, in the shade and the mini is just down there. The end of those little cars, you know. So um, I can't see it, but you know, I, I'm I'm good for another two hours on the car, so I, I could eat and relax, and I'm really, really pleasant out here, so glad I did this. Anyway, oh, and I am getting a, uh, I was going to get a coffee as usual, and then they were like having a special on Miss Moses. You get two for 12, but I said, I don't want two, I might have one, it's not, booze is not my thing, and I, uh, and I am driving, uh, but I'm eating a lot, and it's going to be two hours, so he's like, um, he says, I can give you one uh, mimosa for, uh, I don't know if I've, I think I've had a mimosa once or twice. It's like champagne and fruit juice, I think. So I said, like, give me a mimosa. The six dollar mimosa. Yeah, I'm here at the uh, omelet station, and they're they're making a very nice custom-made omelet for me. And I'm having uh, this. Uh, they have a salmon there. So they have uh, you know, um, I think ham or, or pork, and they have um, beef, but they also have salmon. So I got like a stuffed salmon, and uh, she's doing a very really nice custom omelet for me. So uh, the food here is very very good. Wait for now. The thing about sitting inside is that they have um, a jam there. I'm heading for the main buffet. Then I may get another omelet later, let's see. Hey, I had a nice brunch. Uh, came to like $75 with tax and with the, with the drinks and the tip. I got a ticket! And I was so careful, and, but I didn't look at the sign properly. And all the other cars were parked here, and I looked at it and I said, I. I the, it's on that side of the sign, and I bought it. I bought a token till um, uh, three sixteen, and I got here at three twelve. I got here just before the thing expired. Yeah, I got it. You know, I get lots of them. I'm just sitting here. <laughs> I already got the ticket, so I got it. You know. uh, and I, I saw that they can go pay it at, uh, at uh, Etobicoke City Hall, so I'll probably do that next week. I'm not going to dis dispute it. So now I'm just sitting here, sitting here, and I'm like, going, you know, I had the two drinks, but they're like three hours now, and I had a lot of food, like more than three hours. So, you know, like, like I said, I already got the ticket, so no. Uh, but, and I'm sitting in the car. So, but I'm, I'm, I'm good to go. I uh, had my uh, puss hat in the other car, in the Mercedes. I had to wear my Corvette hat. There we go. I'm not used to boots that make this much noise when I walk, particularly on these uh, these marble floors. Hello, hello. No, not your best Oops. I do like this new carpet smell. It's really nice. Hello, everybody. I'm here with the kids, and I got back, and I just napped on the sofa. With, and everybody's here in the living room. So we've got one baby there. We've got uh, one baby there. We've got a geezer there. And I just kind of napped here, and you know, uh, all of today's overeating, and uh, then the ticket, and then I just sort of realized it's been a, it's been a pretty hectic week. I mean, the good thing is, of course, that I am still queer, you know. Oh, and there's one thing I did forget to mention. Um, I have also been this one, uh, and I had some antibiotic left over from before, so I've been putting it. It's 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 clearing up, but I might have put a little bit too much antibiotic. 
Anyway, it was just left over from before. It was, it kind of got into this was happening with the eye. There was a, that thing which I, you know, uh, on top of everything else. So I'm just going to do my very quick recap here. Yes, I am still clear. You know, everything's fine. Kids are uh, kids are all fine. After the, the drama earlier in the week with the, with the Finn and the, then um, uh, my own dentist stuff, my own eye stuff, the uh, the trip to the house with the guy not showing up for the railing, you know. So not only my own unreliable contractor, they make an appointment with someone, and uh, they all show up. I go all the way. Well, I was I had to go to cut the glass anyway. So. But um, and then uh, the very annoying sort of neighbor. Uh, you know, the guy I knew from up the road, and uh, he's kind of insisting that I buy another house in the country because i got to have a workshop and a garage because that's very big for car people out there and that, you know, he doesn't get the cars aren't my priority right now that I'm dealing with. They know, but he knows about the uh, the struggling with, you know, the addiction, but I don't go into a lot of details about it, obviously. Uh, but uh, to him, like, cars are the most important thing. So, you know, I'm, and he doesn't get that, you know. I, I'm looking for a place more in town, just sort of to be, even if I don't socialize with people, just to have people around and and some nice bird watching windows for the kids and the catio and the the kids are much more of a priority than the cars. I mean, I really don't I don't want to have a garage to hang out in and you know and sit in like these people seem to do that. They all seem to do that. They just the the people who have cars out there, nice cars, uh, collectors cars, they just sit in the garages. <laughs> no, thank you. That's not the really professor style. So he pissed me off, and then you know, uh, and then I'm like going, I don't know if I want to really live in a neighborhood. We should just keep that house and just go there occasionally with the kids once it's ready, once the railing is, uh, you know, is is done and the bathrooms are done. We'll just go occasionally and not spend a lot of. I was thinking of spending more time out there just for a change and you know a place that uh, where there. Uh, the kids can, you know, look out the windows and I can, uh, can sit on the front porch maybe and, you know, uh, kind of watch stuff going by. I had something like that in Niagara some time ago, some kind of, you know, and it kind of worked. At that time, I only had Agitha and she, she loved it, I had an enclosed front porch. So there was, uh, there was that annoying guy. And then, but after that, uh, there was some pull. I mean, that, that happened on Thursday and then... Uh, there was some pull on on Friday, but um, I kind of wrote it out. And uh, yesterday, I just kind of stayed home with the kids, and everything is okay. Uh, uh, you know, they're for brunch and stuff like that, or for you know, uh, roti lunch, and then I came back and reading and exchanging emails with friends and texts, all of that. And then today, I went for that, um, uh, uh, you know, that. Uh, uh, all you can eat brunch, which was nice on the patio, and I had a couple of drinks, which I normally don't have, but I uh, just kind of felt like it, and I said, kind of went with the uh, with the buffet and the, uh, and, you know, I had two over an extended period of time with lots and lots of food, so that was okay. But then uh, I overate, and I, you know, it was very expensive, you know, <laughs> with the, with the two drinks and with the tax and tip, it was like seventy five bucks, and then I got another fifty bucks. I had to pay for the ticket, which I was like, and I bought a token, so really I paid $57, because I paid $7 for the token, but I didn't realize that that strip was no parking. Everybody parked there, so I guess everybody got tickets, I don't know, you know, so I was like, I didn't notice where the where the little marker thingy was, so, and I was in a rush to get to, get to the buffet, and I'd, I'd called to say I was late, and all of that, so, and I bought the token, and then that happened, so like uh, 57 bucks for parking, uh, counting the token and then the ticket. Oh, so it's, uh, it's been a dramatic week. It's been drama llama. You know, the drama llama with the, uh, with the, with the baby, uh, with the, you know, got stuck in the Roger's bag, but, you know, then everybody, whole family got traumatized. He's okay. Uh, everybody's okay now. And then the phone drama just continues, just continues. And then the, all the other stuff, and the trip, and the guy not showing up, and the annoying sort of neighbor, distant neighbor, but, you know. So, um, and, uh, you know, uh, there's pull, and then today, uh, ticket, you know, overeating ticket. But in spite of everything, I mean, you know, the main thing is kids are fine. I'm fine. I'm still clear. It's three weeks, three full weeks, you know. So one day at a time, one and all this little stuff. It's okay. It's little stuff. It's, you know, just, just you know, it's daily, uh, you know, uh, stresses. 
And, uh, you know, the, the junky response is when you get stressed is to go party. But, you know, that's, I'm at the stage now where the party is just, you know, it's all unspeakable horrors. There's no, absolutely no, uh, you know, um, unimaginable delights, you know. And, it, and it's extended and it's getting harder and harder and harder and harder to return. So it's not, that's just not an option. It might pull. But, you know, and then I got all the pushes in place. And um, and then, the, you know, there was car stuff. And after the discussion with the guy, and he's like, he's so obsessive about his cars. And, and my car was dirty compared to his, the S430. I don't even feel like washing my cars anymore. I'm just like going, fuck it, you know. They're just cars, you know. It's not, not that big a deal to me, you know, which uh, which he didn't seem to get, you know. Uh, I mean, it's a rechanneling, yes. And, you know, I do keep them. I'm, and then he's going, oh, then you should sell them. And I go... I don't want to sell them there. I mean, you know, they are a rechanneling, and I put the collection together with my father, and then I bought a, few, a couple more. And yeah, it's something to do, you know. But uh, but I'm not going to be obsessive about it. It's not that's not my main addiction, you know. <laughs> so anyway, oh, I'm still here. I'm still around. I'm still battling, and I'm still clear. Three weeks, you know. So from the uh, four of us, so we get. Um, one baby there, we get a Gita there, facing in the opposite direction as usual, and we've got another baby there. So, from one, one baby running to hide, two babies there, and a Gita there, and myself, the nuttiest, craziest, most fucked up professor, three weeks clear in the history of the universe. Bye for now. See you next podcast.